that they're floating. You know what's not really getting a shot is R-H-O-M. Now, we have a couple of things. I love when people are saying these ratings are great and it's weeks later. You know, the overnights for R-H-O-M are not good. Someone just sent them to me and it's like was in the 300,000s. And that's not great. There is now this thing online like um, Alexia from my from Miami was on Watch What Happens and people are like, she's the only one that's been on. Like it's been weeks and like no one else has been on Watch What Happens from RHOM. It's kind of like, you know, does Andy, do certain franchises get preferential treatment? I think they do. I think RHOM, they need the move to Bravo. Why is, I mean, why aren't, why aren't the cast members on every week? It's look, it's not my favorite season since this came back four five and six. It's, I think it maybe is time for something new, but it is still a very good franchise this season. I think Adriana who was on this podcast. They were all on this podcast is way underlooked for being someone who's willing to just do whatever and stir the pot. I don't think it's the best season. I think Larsa is having a particularly bad season, having told everybody that Gertie has cancer after she was asked not to, and she does not seem to think she did anything wrong. The producers love that, of course, Mm -hmm. but, um, I don't know. Give give some respect to RHOM. It's not a bad season. It's a good season. It. I just think maybe soon it would be time to change up the cast. Maybe. Well, I think it should have stayed on Peacock. They got a little ahead of themselves. They got a great first season. And um, second season was good. Know, and this season's just, it's the same. Right. I think, I, I think it just should have found a home on Peacock and um, it would have been like an additional boost there. If you, if you had the subscription, I think it would have created like a little, like, Oh, I got to pay and find out what's going on over here. Um, I'm, you know, look, it's, I have my staples, right. That I really enjoy. It's hard for me to Beverly get into Hills. Beverly Hills, Potomac. And I'm going to be honest, Potomac is not, really wowing me this season it's really really what do you cool. what do you think of our newbie neca yeah um i just think it's so seem like you're a fan it's no I, are you i mean I, no i feel like again it's like a distraction from the people that are on there it's like if if giselle if robin if ashley if the grand dame aren't bringing it why why are we constantly introducing new people like if this group of women doesn't really hang out, doesn't really interact, they're not bringing their true lives. Okay. Then we try to always throw in, we threw in Mia these past couple of seasons. Okay. We, you know, Mia stuff last year. We, t- we threw in those women at that are friends with Ashley, the one that, Oh, poor thing. Who is it? That I don't, I can't even remember anyway, that tried to say that Chris Bassett was trying to get with her. And it was like, Oh, please, you know, and now here we have NECA like trying to say that, you know, the professor's mother practices witchcraft. I mean, it's just and threatened so... her, threatened her, threatened the family. I don't know. Maybe NECA will wear on me. I just no. listen. I, I, and I think RHOA will get into that in a second. You know, everyone's going to claim all their shit now. Go fuck yourselves. Okay. We have every right to talk about how RHOA was fucking trash last season. It was fucking trash. Yeah. I did stop watching. Now, stopped now you're watching. getting me all riled up, but I agree with you that Potomac, is also before we get to RHOA um it's not it's yes it's like here's the thing about NECA who is she do we know anything how many episodes in are we you have this husband who's pretty fine looking to me we don't know anything about him we don't know anything about her your whole existence now is 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 about Wendy it's like it's not about you so that's not really a great integration of a new cast member I don't love Mia. We do. She does, I guess, put it out there, kind of. I just find Mia from the beginning very thirsty. I do think she knows. She grew up watching the Grand Dom, and she wants to be the Grand Dom. So I feel like she came came in studied, and that's the problem I have as these franchises go on. Um, yeah, like, so how many? We're now what five episodes in? What is anybody doing? Nothing. Is Ashley dating? Is Ashley starting a new business? Is Candy Gal? I mean, Candy Gal is the only one, I think. And, you know, she got her vindication because this alleged woman who said that she had this affair with Chris Bassett, it's come out. The woman completely lied. Um, now Candace is trying to prove that Giselle was somehow behind it. Um, 
you know, it just seems like all the interesting storylines somehow are never filmed for RHOP unless, I don't know, are we going to get some of Giselle, these accusations towards Chris, are those coming up? But so far I have not seen those on the like promos, but maybe I'm not missing it. I don't know how Giselle keeps her job. I don't, I just, I do not know what is Giselle, like what does Giselle even do for work? I guess is the show her job? Yeah, the, to the extent that I know, sure. I mean, Robin, I guess we got two episodes after all that. We got two episodes of Robin and Juan sort of addressing this cheating thing. I just, I don't know. It's a rough season for me for Potomac. I love the women, but I, I don't know. It's a, it's a little rough for me too. And also, you know, not, not for nothing, great. Beverly Hills is what it is. Then you go to Atlanta. I mean, Candy Burris has so much money. Marlo, I mean, at least Marlo is dressed head to toe in La Avenue. And like, you don't really know where the money comes from, but it's great. Then you go to Miami, you have Nicole. Nicole Martin is not getting fired for alone for the reason that she has true fuck you money. She has so much money. You go to all these franchises and then you just come to Potomac and it's like, I don't want to see you eating hot dogs and hamburgers at a picnic. I don't want to see it. I want to go to Bling Empire. I want to go to Selling Sunset with the multi-million dollar houses. Like, I don't want to see this regular stuff on TV. So in Potomac, for me, where ha- I just to, for me, I don't think it's grand enough. Sorry to Grand Dame. Even the Grand Dame is not grand enough when there's rented houses and there's remodels. And this is how normal people live. So it's, it's, I understand, but if the, oh, I mean, granted the OC, I, well, no, that's different. We have Heather Dubrow. Yeah. There's nothing. I want someone really fucking filthy, filthy, filthy rich in the DMV. Well, you're not going to get it. Show. In the DMV, because the rich people in the DMV will not go on camera. They're all they all have government contract, you know, companies, consulting companies or their oh ambassadors or they're, they're not going to the real rich. there are just not going to. That's the problem with D.C. That's always been the problem with D.C. It's this kind of buttoned up stuffy place. Um, I got to work on the entertainment side, so it was fun. And a lot of those <sighs> people that have money and are big time lawyers and all that love to let loose, but they don't want to be filmed. And so they have a, I don't think they have a real crisis or dilemma yet with RHOP, but I just, it's like, let's see the, maybe we are going to, but where's the grand dame opening the school? You know, like where's the the school, the team, how's it going to look? What happened to Robin's hat company? I think it's out of business. What, what happened? Um, I guess Giselle doesn't have a job. What happened to the ex-husband, Jamal Bryant, the preacher cheater? I mean, I don't know. I just, I, this whole NECA thing is so dumb to me. And it's like the professor seems thrown off by it. And then them t- 